Hello YouTube, it is El Valor here. In our YouTube channel, you will find different videos regarding FRP and mobile services. So in this video, I will show you how you can remove Google Lock from Samsung Tab A9 Plus, which includes the versions X210, X215 and X216. As you see on the left, this is my recovery mode. The phone should be, the device should be on Android. 14 or lower in order for this to work step one you will need to download the firmware of the device in my case it is x210 and it was running on android 14 just like i showed you on the picture and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find another firmware on the sam fw uh, website that belongs to android 15. so i'm gonna choose a bit 8 because my my device is currently running on bit 4 so this bit 8 will work let's choose the server from google drive i'm gonna log into my email account over here now and a download link will be created from the sam fw website and it will be on our google drive so click on this one wait a bit and then hit download okay so this is the file that we need to download so it will be located on your google drives already so if you need to de delete it later you can already delete it i'm gonna rename it x210 you don't have to but just to make it easier i'm doing this so this is the first file i am doing this on a customer's device so i have already logged into the ultra viewer on his account and i've started the download I'm going to create a folder on desktop named x210 and we're going to put all the files needed over here. We're going to put on this folder. So the first one was the firmware which already is downloading. Here it is. So the second one we need to download Lviral FRP tool. To do that just go on website browser and write tinyurl.com slash alb tool write the same link and this file will, will be there tap on download and the download will be started and the next thing we're gonna need odin in order to download it you need to do the, this link tinyurl.com slash odin 14. so these are the three files i'm gonna wait for the x210 firmware to download and we're gonna put the all three files on the folder on our desktop it will not take long it's almost done okay so here we go everything is good to go i'm gonna just cut all these three files and i'm gonna paste them on desktop folder which we created earlier okay here we go and after after doing that we're gonna extract uh one by one as you see the tab a9 plus is already connected on our computer so i'm gonna extract first the odin it is a small file extraction will start fast I'm gonna extract the Lviral FRP tool and I'm gonna extract the X210 firmware running on Android 15. So remember, it should be running on Android 15. So this is my A9 device. And on the properties, again, you can see it, which one is connected. It is bit 4, which means it is running on Android 14. And I've downloaded bit 8, which was Android 15. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the video. So this extraction is done. Perfect. The next thing you need to do is you need to open Lviral FRP tool folder. Open inside, go inside the folder and you have a file named key. This is the key in order to activate the software. This software, what we'll do is we'll make you the things much more easier. So click on Lviral FRP tool, open it, run it. And there are some options over here that on the software you will have uh, you will have it very easy to go on download mode so just tap on download mode paste the activation key which we copied earlier and now the software is activated and then click on download mode as you see on the right download mode it is okay and the device should automatically go on download download mode perfect so this is the first step that you need to do and the second step is you need to open odin so odin is a, a, is a tool that will allow you to flash any firmware on the Samsung device. In our case, it will, it will flash it on X210. I'm gonna choose BL for first and then go on desktop, X210 folder and choose a file that starts with BL. Okay, 
And the next thing we're gonna use is CSC. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna select the CSC file, not the home CSC, okay? This is important. Also, we're gonna choose the AP. So click on AP and then click on OK. And we're gonna leave the CP empty and the user data empty. If there is a file for CP, then you can choose the CP. Okay, this AP will take a bit longer to load. So I just cut this video and I just uh, resume it when the load was finished. And you're gonna hit start. This process uh, should take a bit. It might take like five to 10 minutes, depending on your computer speed. But I'm gonna speed up the video so we will not have to wait. The video will, should not be that long. Okay, so it is flashing. Uh, you make sure that you don't disconnect your device. Make sure that it has enough battery. Otherwise, if it fails, it is not a good thing. The FRP process might fail also. At the end, once this is done, you should see the reset and then pass. Okay, so just like I told you, this is a customer's phone. So I video called him in order to see the process of it. So sorry for the shake of the camera. Uh, this is the start screen. You're going to hit agree on the terms, set up manually over here, and then hit skip. So at the network location, you see over here at the, at the Wi-Fi network, you are able to hit skip. And, and this means that the FRP process, it is gone. The rest, you just need to go through like a new device. You know, just go next, next, agree to the terms, skip Wi-Fi, skip fingerprint and pin lock and uh, everything else. You can choose other states over here. It doesn't really matter what you do right now. Hit next. So basically, just go through the setup like a new device. And uh, it will allow you to go to the next steps. Click on home over here. And ta-da. Here we are on the main screen of the device. The device is completely unlocked. Uh, it is running on Android 